Today we're gonna be going over 10 different Air Jordans that you can get under retail. First up right here, we have the Soulfly Air Jordan 1 Low. These things were going for close to $1,000 when they originally came out. And now in current time, you can get these things for below retail. 150 bucks is what they came out at. I think it's slightly because of the pattern and color on the shoe. It's just kind of too hard for everybody to wear and put in their everyday rotation. Now don't get me wrong, I do see people that really like the sneaker. And for you, if you really do like this shoe, it's a great shoe to pick up for your collection because you can get it for cheaper than the retail cost and you don't have to really worry about fighting to go get the shoe. It's very interesting to see a collaboration sneaker like this in particular going for below that value because typically when we see collaboration shoes, they tend to go for double or triple or sometimes even 10 times the retail value. Next up on the list right here, we have the Air Jordan 7 Cardinal. Now these right here are classics. I've talked about these in the past. I think a lot of people are sleeping on this shoe. Eventually it will be worth more money, but to say that you can actually get this shoe for retail or below retail, I think is an amazing deal. Retail on these was like 190 or 200 bucks or something like that. I know there's a lot of hype behind Air Jordan 4s and Air Jordan 1s, but all my OG heads out there, I can guarantee you every single person that I know, they was like, yo, I gotta have these in my collection. So if you're looking for a nostalgic, iconic model and colorway, the Cardinal 7 is definitely going to be a very good pickup, especially to say that you can get these for 30 to 40 bucks below retail. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Now taking it to the next shoe right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 Stealth. Retail on these was 170 bucks and they're gonna be lingering just around or just below that price. And I really wanted to put these on the list because I know I don't really like predominantly white shoes because they look too big in a size 13, but this is a very universal shoe. And a lot of people that do have it, they really love it. And I think they did a really good job when it comes to the materials and all those aspects on the sneaker. I personally added a pair to my collection and I still think it's a solid shoe. And definitely again, like I said, at that price point is worth the cop. Next up on the list right here, we have the winterized Air Jordan 3s. And to see these hitting for around 170 bucks, I think is a really good deal because that's below the retail value as well. And not to mention, this is actually built for the weather. So when it comes to water and different elements like that, you're not gonna have to worry about that as much when it comes to this sneaker. And it's gonna be more protected for the long haul. And it's actually gonna give you that more durability that you need. So to be able to get a shoe that's gonna last like that and still have a really good value when it comes to the price i think that's an ultimate deal and then yes i know some people may say it doesn't really resemble the og colorways doesn't have the elephant print yes there's going to be elements that people may or may not like but at the end of the day if you like the shoe i'm telling you right now i think it's a pretty good price to get the shoe at right now next up on the list we have a sneaker that i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on and that is the air jordan 13 unc you got your classic two-tone color blocking with the black and the unc blue on the back end with the suede and overall it's just a clean shoe to be able to get these for 20 to 30 bucks below retail, I think is a really good deal. You can walk into any local Foot Locker or whatever foot store you may have around your city and easily cop this shoe for that $200 price point as well. But if you wanna take some time and find some people in the game that have the shoe for a little bit cheaper, trust me, it'll be worth it to do that little navigating to help you save a couple bucks on each and every one of these shoes. And yes, I know we're gonna have people complaining in the comment section talking about, yeah, but you gotta pay fees and StockX and da da da, whoop to whoop, nobody's getting it at that price no bro that's what you're getting the shoe at you can definitely get these shoes at these prices again all it takes is a little bit of effort and not just going to the basic cashing out and you can actually meet people and build relationships and get shoes for good deals no matter if you have a following on the internet or not trust me i'm telling you right now it's possible you can get all these shoes below retail and it shouldn't be that hard and if you guys are still having any troubles make sure you hit the link down below in the description i built a hobby to hustle program for somebody just like you that may need that kickstart to get things going and I have over a hundred different tutorials and videos and examples to give you guys everything you need from all the stuff I've learned over the past 15 years that have really changed the game for me and helped me build and grow my collection and make extra money on the side along the way but anyways besides that let's take it to the next shoe and that is the Black Samurai Air Jordan 8. I remember when this shoe was about to come out I was hearing a lot of people raving about the sneaker and how amazing it was and the collaboration and da 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 whoop de whoop I get it it is still a nice shoe but the price definitely doesn't reflect that when it comes to these in particular and I think it's simply because a couple different factors it's an Air Jordan 8 it's not a trendy model I get that the collaboration not that many people know the history and nostalgia behind the model and the collaboration which causes people not to want to buy into it and then again it may just not be a colorway that's suitable for the mass audience that people can see in their rotation or want to have as a collector's item in their collection as well so there's a lot of different factors 
years. And like I said, we talk about all these things in the Hobby to Hustle program, but those are just some key things to take note of when it comes to these type of sneakers. And again, at the end of the day, buy what you like. If you like the shoe, definitely pick these up because honestly, I think it's a solid price. Now, next up on the list right here, we have another sleeper that I had to put on the list and that is the Air Jordan 23. This is the Chicago colorway and these came out some years ago and I feel like everybody has been sleeping on these since then. You can find these at outlets. They have been sitting around on shelves for a long time and normally on Air Jordan 23s, they retail around 225 to 250 bucks depending on what the shoe is and what collaboration it is or whatever it may be. So to be able to get these for around 180 bucks or just under 200 bucks, I think is a really good deal. Again, very niche. Not everybody loves higher number Jordans and all those different things. I love 23s. I think this is an amazing shoe. So I had to put these on the list. Next up right here, we have a personal favorite and that is the Air Jordan 6. Cause you know, I love me some Air Jordan 6s in the Midnight Navy colorway. There's just so much nostalgia behind this sneaker. They did a great job on the materials. Again, I know everybody doesn't love Air Jordan 6s, which causes what the price to be a little bit lower. But I have a strong feeling when it comes to this shoe in particular, these could easily be that $300 or $350 sneaker down the line. Again, it's going to take some time, but if you like this shoe and you want something that's classic and nostalgic like that in your collection that goes with a lot of different outfits, this is going to be a really good model. And I love these. You know me, I had to double up because <laughs> I love some sixes. Now, next up right here, we have a sneaker that a lot of people were shocked by the price that what it currently is at, and other people understood why it was at that price, and they kind of predicted that and I think it's because of the collaboration and all the different factors and the colorway of the shoe people kind of prefer the different versions and that is the Air Jordan 5 we the best DJ Khaled they did an amazing job on this collaboration when it comes to the materials and the presentation of the shoe. But again, when it comes to the masses and the broad audience of people, sometimes people just can't see themselves wearing a colorway like this. And again, the Air Jordan 5 is not a trendy model, which causes what? Not everybody to want the shoe. So because of that, they have kind of been sitting around that retail or below retail price point. And if you do some research or hit up a couple people or go to a couple shows or whatever it may be, you you can find these for below retail. Some stores still even have these sitting on shelves. And like I said, it's always crazy to see a collaboration go through some tough times like this because typically we see collaborations three to four times the value than the actual retail price point. But if you want a really nice quality shoe and you're looking for something dope for a collaboration or something a little bit different in your collection, this is definitely gonna be a really good option. And you already know me, I got these in my collection. Since we're on the topic of Air Jordan 5s, we can't forget to mention the Concord Air Jordan 5. I saw these sitting on shelves at outlets and easily accessible for a lot of people. When they originally came out, not that many people were picking them up and they were sitting on retail shelves as well for a really long time. So if you want, again, another clean model, and I know it's not trendy, but again, I think this is a very clean shoe right here. This is gonna be a really good option for your collection to be able to get these for that below retail price point. And who knows, you never know. People might start liking fives and then you say, hey, I remember the day when I got those for 180 bucks or I found somebody with a used pair for 140 bucks. And next thing you know, they're going for $500 because trust me, in time, there's cycles in the shoe game. And I'm telling you right now, not everybody is always loving the Air Jordan 1s and 4s for the lifetime of the shoe game. There has been plenty of moments when the Air Jordan 5 was the hottest model, when the Jordan 8 was the hottest model, the 6 was the hottest model. So trust me, there's ebbs and flows to the game. And if you know that you're in it for the long haul and you're buying what you like, like I said before, it's gonna be worth it. You won't have any problems. Now, I know I said I was gonna do 10 shoes, but I had to throw another one in there for you guys. And we have the Citrus Air Jordan 7s. Bro, why is everybody sleeping on this shoe? These things are amazing. I know me, I got personal memories from the past when the first pair came out. So yes, you know I had to double up on the new one, but man, this is a really nice shoe. People are sleeping, I get it. Air Jordan 7s aren't trendy and everything, but if you want a nice all black shoe, yes, you gotta worry about the suede, so with rain and different things like that. But if you want a nice all black shoe for your collection and your rotation, this is definitely gonna be a really good model and a nice addition to the collection. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff down below in the comment section. And if you wanna see any more videos like this, I had a list about like 40 different pairs of shoes that were below retail, and I only picked out like 10 or 11 of them, so we can easily make more videos like this if you guys want to see more with different models and colorways and brands or whatever you need to see so i'll see you guys in another one we got to get out of here i'm gone 
Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and say Bahamas. I know it's super random, but I need a trip. I need a little vacation.